Hello friends, if you're part of the family, welcome back. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is going to be a foundation review. Uh, this is the True Skin Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. It's supposed to be long wear. Um, and it is by Catrice uh, Cosmetics. It is a Saturday morning. <laughs> you might see my husband in the background, my kids coming in. Totally informal. Uh, but I saw a review on a YouTube channel that I found that I follow. Her name is Tati. It's, uh, I think her YouTube name is Glam Guru. Anyways, I'll put her link below. She's really cool. And her, um, her videos are very informative. And anyways, I'm a fan. So she did a review on this one, which is a drugstore foundation, which is only $11. It is on the high end for a drugstore foundation. I do use the Wet n Wild, which you can see right here. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus uh, Foundation. My color in there, I think it's golden beige uh my color in that one is it golden beige yes it's golden beige i just need to make sure okay so um yeah i tried to do my best to match my foundation using you know uh youtube videos here on youtube and i think this is a good good uh good uh, match for my skin this is the 015 warm vanilla Okay, so the claims are, let me see, it says true skin but better hydrating foundation with hyaluronic acid and watermelon seed oil. Leaves a perfectly even skin tone and naturally matte finish. It's funny that it's hydrating but it also leaves it matte. Usually those, th those things are the opposite. It's medium to high, co high coverage with comfortable skin feeling but when Tati wore it, she did like a whole day video till like nighttime and the foundation did not even move. So I'm excited to try it out. So this is what it looks like. Like I said, my kids are downstairs. You might hear them. It has a pump. I'm going to try it with a sponge. I don't know what mirror right here. Hopefully this is a good match. So I'm gonna shake it up. I'm gonna put some in the back of my hand so you guys can see the consistency and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on my skin. Whoop, so that's one pump. It's a little runny. I think the match might be good. Okay, so since it's a little runny, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dot my face everywhere like that. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit. There we go. Oh wow. I just did my entire face. Come in guys, and I still have on my, my hand. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the sponge and I'm going to apply it oh i think it might be a little light a little lighter than i wanted it but you know what it's not that bad not bad at all the coverage is definitely medium um, I do have my nose ring right there, probably a little more, which I'm going to get into with a brush. That way I don't get too much inside the actual nose ring. I'm using natural light, which I love doing for videos like these because you can really see the color. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit for my nose ring. Wow, okay, so I think maybe, wow, it already dried up in my hand, look at that. It is a Saturday morning, we're running errands, so I don't necessarily want like a whole lot of coverage to be honest, like I'm not going to like church or anything, but that is a coverage, which is one layer, one pump. I think I want one more pump, just to get things going. So I'm gonna try one more pump, maybe a half a pump, there we go. Get my beauty blender or beauty sponge and work through it. I actually do think this is a good match for me. I mean, it looks a little light, but once you blend it out and it dries up or dries down, it's better. So for color references, I try using the MAC NC35. That is my my color reference for you. So if that's where you're at in MAC, that's usually what I use to see what um, colors better match my skin. So that is what it looks like. Let me zoom out just a little bit. It might be a little on the light side. 
Um, I see it on the camera, but I don't see it as light in my mirror. Let me just blend that a little more. I don't mind. If I had to choose, I would rather have a uh, foundation that's a little on the light side because that way I can already always warm it up with some bronzer. All right, so let me do a close up so you guys can see what my skin looks like. You can still see a few of like my freckles. It's not a full coverage like it claims a medium coverage, but that is what it looks like for the first. But that is what it looks like. All right. All right, guys, I went ahead and put on my concealer and I was thinking of just doing my makeup here off camera and then hopping back in. But there's a few items that I would love to share with you guys that I just got on my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Um, yeah, and I think it would be great to share it with you guys. So, okay, I already put on my concealer, which is the e.l.f. Um, what is it? Hydrating Camo Concealer. Uh, and this one is in light sand. I use it underneath my eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and set it with my Laura Mercier setting powder. And I'm going to use this brush that I got from in my Ipsy bag called, um, from the brand Farah. It is the Power, what is it? Power Powder and Go, sorry. But I love it because I feel like it is a dupe for that brush from Hourglass. I don't remember the name of it. But I've been wanting to get that brush for such a long time. And that one retailed for like $64. And I'm like, it's way too much money. I'm like, I am not paying $64 for a brush. Um, and this one actually, what is the price? I don't remember the, pr the price for this one. I can look it up and I'll put it here below. Um, but this one's obviously, you know, less expensive and it is such a dupe. It has like for your setting powder underneath your eye, this, uh, and this one for either bronzer or face powder. And I thought it was so pretty and I'm glad I didn't get it because then I got this one in my Ipsy bag. So anyways, just a fun fact. So this, this is the brush that I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys. It's the one that I use now for my under eye to set. So I use this as my under eye and also for my entire face. Here in the bottom, work my way. You always wanna set your foundation, especially me that I live here in South Florida, all the humidity. All right, so I set it. I'm really liking this foundation, guys. I like it. I used a pump and a half, just FYI, if you missed that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put some bronzer. This is from Marc Jacobs. They're Tentastic, what is it? Yeah, Tentastic. And I'm gonna use the other end and add some bronzer. You see, even though I feel like maybe this color is a little too light, I can bronze it up and make it work. Done with bronzer, I'm gonna use my hourglass um, blush in diffused heat. Very pretty, but it's very, very light. It's like a baby pink. <laughs> you see? Very light. Add some highlight. This is Rodeo Drive by Ofra. I should really replace this highlighter because I've had it for a long time. Long, long, long time. All right. So this is an eyeliner that I got from ColourPop and I got it at Ulta. It's called the ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner and it's in the color uh, Castello. It was part of their Limoncello um, collection. And it's super cute because it's subtle. It's like a golden yellow. Look how pretty this is. Look how pretty that is. It's very subtle. I might have to add some eyeshadow in my crease. <gasps> I hate it. These things do that. They're so creamy. Look. It like totally just cracked. Ah! Okay. Just 
go up just a little bit. It's still so pretty. This was cheap. I think it was like seven bucks or something. I don't know. All right, let's do my brows because I cannot go out like this with no brows. Can't do that. Like I said, we're just running errands, but hmm, I'm really liking this foundation. I am using the Brow Powder and Taupe by Billion Dollar Brows. some chapstick this even helps to kind of take out just the dead skin in my lips and also some foundation that I may have there I'll remove it in a little bit and I will um, how do you say it ah put some lipstick on I'm gonna go back with my bronzer because I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a shadow on my crease to give it a little definition This video was totally gonna be just about this foundation, but this might be a really cool summer look. I mean, whatever color eyeliner that you want, but everything else kind of subtle. It looks pretty, right? I like it. Okay, and then, ooh, because, you know, I'm a little extra, let's put some of that underneath our eye. Just cuz, just cuz. Right. And then let's go back with that highlighter <laughs> right here and we're gonna go to do our inner inner corner give it a little pop you know a lot of times makeup is just about the details that maybe nobody notices I mean some people will but you do you notice it you know like we're artists us makeup artists are literally artists we paint the canvas every day and we used to wear it on, my, on our face. <laughs> okay. And then lastly, we're gonna put on some mascara. This is the one from Pat McCarth, McCarth Labs. I'm not in love with it, but I got it from my Ipsy bag. It's all right. guys so oh lipstick <gasps> okay so this lipstick I got um, in my ipsy glam bag plus I have not tried it it's the Gensa super 8 vibrant silk lipstick in the color free spirit it looks like a really pretty pinky nude this is what it looks like Look how it opens, you click it. You saw that, I did it again. Wow. Ooh, that's so pretty. Put some on my hand. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, will that go with this look? I don't know, let's just go with it. We're gonna wipe off the chapstick and with that a lot of dead dead skin oh look my lips are rosy <laughs> all right let's try this oh wow that's really pretty there we go and then we're gonna shut it, put it back. <laughs> I 
I was done with my video and I actually wanted to give you guys um, just a little review on a concealer. I mean, this is totally like left field, but I wanted to include it in here because these are some of the items that I got in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of June. And I actually got this concealer by Tarte. And I was super excited that we were gonna get uh, a concealer. Um, and this is the C, the Hydro Clear Concealer C, I guess the, the, the line C from Tarte. And I was super excited. This is in 25H, which is light medium honey. And I was super excited to get it. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get a concealer, you know, um, high-end concealers. I usually just do drugstores. This is what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. Um, but here's the deal. It says, uh, so here's the deal. The packaging is beautiful, right? It is like the worst concealer. I'm sorry. It does not cover anything at all. It almost feels like a really light tinted moisturizer. So if you really don't like a lot of full coverage with your concealer, then you can try this one, but I am not a fan. I'm just kind of showing it to you in case you guys, you know, wanted to try it or were interested in maybe the color shade. That is what that looks like. Okay, on my skin. And again, again, this is the 25H Light Medium Honey. Look at what that looks like. I mean, the coverage, maybe in my hand it looks a little better, but I've tried it underneath my eyes and I've tried it on my face. I've, I, have to pi I have to apply like three coats of this guy over here to get a, like medium coverage. So if you like a really, really light concealer and wanna pay a lot of money for your concealer, then try this one, but I'm not a fan at all. So I don't know, maybe it might just go straight in the garbage or maybe I could just keep it in there for days where I just like, just want like a tiny bit of coverage. I don't know. Anyways, wasn't a fan, wanted to share that with you guys. All right guys, so that's about it. That is this video. This video was supposed to be just about this foundation, which honestly, look at the coverage. How pretty is that? Let me do a little zoom in again. I mean, you can still see my skin, but the coverage is very well, and it definitely does dry down matte, which is what I like, okay? So like I said, this video was only supposed to be about this um, foundation, which again is the 015 Warm Vanilla, but it ended up being a little makeup tutorial for the summer. And I was able to show you those two products that I liked from my Ipsy bag, the brush and the lipstick. All right, guys, so that's about it. I will put the information below uh, on this foundation where you guys can find it and the price and all that good stuff. And I'll actually also link all this product that I used on my face today. Um, stay tuned for a few messages from myself. Love you all, and I will see you on my next video. Bye. Hello, guys. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch my videos. I take the time and effort to edit them, to film them, so it means the world to me that you guys stop by to check them out. So thank you. I have a few messages to share with you guys. They won't take long at all, I promise. So number one is I accept prayer requests. So if you are going through something or you just are in need of prayer, go ahead and contact me. You can either leave a message below or you can email me. Um, I am on Facebook, but I don't check my uh, Facebook Messenger that often, um, but I do my Instagram. So you can either uh, contact me through Instagram, email, or comment below, and I will pray for you. Me and my family will be praying for you. Number two, if you are on social media, especially on Instagram, you should totally be following me. And the reason why is because I post a lot more content over there than I do actually here on YouTube. I share with you guys pictures of my family, especially in the Insta stories. I share recipes, uh, everyday life, and just a lot more content. So if you are on there and also on Facebook, go ahead and follow me. And number three, um, if you have not subscribed yet to my channel, go ahead and do so now and hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. We have so much fun here and we would love to have you join our family. I post uh, Mondays or I do my best to post um, Bible studies or Bible 
content Mondays and Wednesdays. And then Fridays is for my girls out there. I do um, makeup reviews, hauls. I do uh, so many fun things, recipes, uh, videos with my kids. So we have a lot of fun and we would love to have you on board. All right, guys, well, that's about it. Short and sweet. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in as well. Don't forget our hope in life and death is in Christ Jesus. Love you all, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.